But what we want to now talk about is what happens if the electric field is not uniform, if, if the field is actually changing along different parts of the path. And we'll look at a couple different cases. And the first is the simplest case where we just have a case where, uh, say, the path goes through different regions or goes through regions of different uh, different uniform electric fields. Okay. So for example, if I have some part of the path, let's say in this region, there's point A and there's point B. And along A to B, let's say I know the electric field is pointing in this direction, call it E1. Okay. And it's uniform throughout this entire region. And then from B to C, which is here, let's say I have a different electric field. It's uniform within that region. Uh, now, let me just call this. We'll call this E2. So I measured just a different electric field in this in this part of the space. And we can even have a third region from D to C to D. Call this, I don't know, E3. Maybe it's even off in some direction. Like so. And we want to find the potential difference. Potential at D minus potential at A. So that's, this means a path that goes from where to where. Starts where? S starts at A and goes to D, right? Final minus initial. So our path goes like so. Okay. So what do I do? How do I calculate the total potential difference across that path? Break it up into pieces, right? Break it up into regions where I know how to calculate the potential difference where for a uniform field, right? So A to B, the field is uniform, it's E1. And then from B to C, it's a different field, but it's uniform, E2. And then C to D is E3. So I could calculate the potential difference from A to B, and then B to C, and then C to D. So if I want to write this out as you know, V, E minus VA is equal to potential difference VB minus VA plus VC minus VB plus VD minus D sub C, okay? And so I'd have negative E1 dot delta L1, call it, okay? Delta L1 being the vector that points from A to B, the path vector that points from A to B. And then from B to C, we have a delta L2, and then C to D, a delta L3, okay? So we just add those up. Okay. And if we had other regions continuing, we just keep on you know, doing the same thing, okay? adding up the potential difference across each part of the path where we know the field is uniform within that, that region, okay? Um, so it, you know, it seems pretty obvious, but I, there are people often make mistakes. They sometimes want to average the fields out somehow across the entire path. But don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Just break it up into steps and calculate the potential uh, difference across each step. 